ready to unleash the power of positivity. Only like he can. The following contest is an Iron Man match. Making his way to the ring, representing the New Day from Ghana, West Africa. Weighing in at 212 pounds, Kofi Kingston. So many championship reigns for Kofi Kingston. Tag team, Intercontinental, United States, and the first African-born WWE Champion. A resume a mile long that grows with each and every victory. And reps possibly the greatest group in WWE history, the New Day. It's somehow worse when you say it. Behold the Nigerian Giant. An absolute colossus. When it comes to Omos, there is no preparing, just brace for impact. And his opponent from Lagos, Nigeria, weighing in at 400 pounds, the Nigerian Giant, Omos! A true dominant giant. No kidding. I got a neck ache just looking up at him. Omas's stature alone fills his opponents with fear. I feel fear in my soul, and I'm, I'm not even in the ring with the guy. The Nigerian Giant is unlike anything we have ever seen in WWE. And seeing is believing with a monster like Omas. There's a reason we rarely see Iron Man matches, gentlemen. The exhaustive demand it takes on your body is too much for most superstars. It's a challenge anyone would hesitate to accept. Nothing puts your physical abilities to the test like an Iron Man match. Look at this, just stomp after stomp after stomp. The proverbial mud hole has been stomped, and now it's time to walk it dry. Look at this. Oh, and a backbreaker. Right to the spine. Boom, oh, what an uppercut, Jordan. Look at this, and there it did look like Kofi lost some focus. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Stop in the leg. Oh, I heard a snap. The other end too. Discouraging results for Kofi. Omos with an empowering, systematic attack. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. There's actually no regard for... Sky high. You gotta be kidding me. That's gravity taking a break before coming down like thunder. Three, and back in the ring we go. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Oh, God. Amat showing his personality matches his stature. Yeah. Boom! <laughs> he returns to the ring.
And Kofi fights back. Kofi doing what he can do to alter the beatdown. The U-turn Kofi needed in this match could have been that right there. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Oh, solid kick across the back. Springboard! Plunge, are you kidding me? That's playing fast and loose with your own body. That is weaponizing your body. That's what that was. Good golly, what a knee. Down to Odin and a double axe handle smash. An unbelievable sequence from Kofi. Omos has to exhibit some resiliency now. And that was a precisely measured attack. Five, six. He's testing fate here in danger of a count out. Coming back in the ring. He may get the three count right here. This is it. No, he gets the shoulder. What do you have to do to put this guy away? Kofi's got him measured. Got him lined up. Kofi was perfectly on target. Cover. Two. And he gets the fall early in the match. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Time is ticking with the bulk of this match still left to go. And there's a one fall advantage on the scoreboard. Anything can still happen at this point. You can see as he rises how vulnerable of a position he's in. Soaring, diving, hammer strike. Everything working against Omos now. You cannot deny Kofi Kingston right now. Leg breaker. Omos is in a very vulnerable position here. Out of the way. Oh! And delivered a super kick in response. Oh! What a four. Powerful cover here. Shoulder up, shoulder up. Both competitors digging deep into their well to keep this match going. Ooh. Ah, knee left. Up high. Hoisted up. Spinebuster by Omos. Omos got it. Can he end it? There's two. He gets the ball. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Jarring impact. This match may be nearing its limit. These are dire straits for him. He needs to be extra cautious now. Lift off. Good Lord. In flight. Adrenaline can make you do crazy things. Exhibit A right there. Holy meet the barricade. Punch him in the chest. Looks like Omas has taken the upper hand. Kofi has to trust his instincts at this point. Big right hand. Now Kofi's looking for some momentum. That's possibly the trigger for Kingston to battle his way back into this. Six. Kofi Kingston has the power of positivity coursing through his veins. The adrenaline is pumping and the WWE Universe is on his side. Centaur connects. Just a devil may care attitude on full display. Going for broke and it pays off. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. So much damage inflicted. Boom, did you hear the impact? Boom. Devastating knee to the neck. 
Right on point. A calculated attack here against Omos. Impressive string of attacks from Kofi here. A set out match slam. Crossing the midway point for this match. Focus needs to be regained because it only takes a moment to make a two-fall lead disappear. And Kofi knows it is game time right now. Late in the match, he scores a fall. Set up in the corner of the ring. Oh, what a drop kick. And one of these superstars is in a dominant position, but there's still time for that to vanish. And there's another attack from Kingston. Adrenaline flowing through Kofi as he becomes the aggressor here. Just a barrage from Kofi Kingston. Yeah, Omos has to plot a way to get back into this. Kofi Kingston! And did you hear the impact of that? Is there any life left in Omos? He picks up the score. Hooked up. Ooh. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. And a well-timed maneuver rocks Omos. Ooh. Yeah, things are getting very dangerous for Omos. Boom job. And there's the cover. And he gets the fall late in the match. Ouch. Oh, man. Any more hits in that area could leave him dizzy. And that was an efficient form of offense with that move. This one has to be over. He gets the late score. Ooh, harsh kick. A calculated attack here against Omos. And Kofi is on a roll. right there. I kind of like it. Oh, one height. And Kofi delving deep at this critical point in the match. Time to see how much Kofi has left in him. And oh, now, my God, what a fall! Right to the jaw. Drop kick hits the mark. Kofi just taunting his opponent now. He's got him in the crosshairs. Look out. Whoa, what a landing. You want to talk about putting it all on the line. Always an extra risk when you dive ringside. Whoa, using their body as an absolute weapon. And that was a well-targeted attack. Down to Odin. And a double axe handle smash. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. Oh, I heard a snap. Ow. Pop. Oh, look. Superhuman power from the Nigerian Giant. And now he comes up with a score late in the match. Strong right forearm. Majority of the clock is gone. Iron Man testing these athletes' metal. I know the scoreboard looks ugly, but nothing is settled until the final bell rings. Over and over again. Will it be? I think so. He somehow gets the fall. to the outside, thinking, thinking, thinking. What's he gonna do? Oh, wait a second, off the road. That's finding any which way to topple the competition. Curling your own body like that is insane. Oh, right to the 
kidneys. Golly. Oh, unloading a big kick to the back. And he gets set back into the ring. Off the springboard. Ray Borden with the chop. He thinks he has it. With that, he scores the ball. taking control in a big way. Omos has to weather a storm here. Oh, that might have just broken something. He's finding himself in trouble here. Yeah, this is not good. You don't say, Saxton. Drop kick. Beautiful. Kofi Kingston has the power of positivity coursing through his veins. Great wherewithal on the counter. Slam down. And Kingston being brutalized again. Yeah, Kofi's put up a good fight, but he might have just hit a dead end. Punch right in the head. Not much time left as the seconds continue to tick away. This match might be all but over. With the time left, it would be a miracle to overcome this lead. And the cover! With that, he picks up a late fall. Strong form. there has to be some consideration into ringing the bell. I hate to see any match called off, but you've got to protect an athlete from himself sometimes. Yes, able to survive and pull through. Here is your winner, Kofi Kingston! And a stunning ending to this Iron Man match. It takes a lot of stamina to outlast the opposition in a match like this. The energy in here is undeniable. Kofi reminding the WWE Universe that this is what he does best. A woman who calls herself undeniable. She certainly lived up to that moniker thus far. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Las Vegas, Nevada. Zoe Stark! I love Zoe Stark's energy and love of competition. Well, there's no accounting for taste, but she has proven it by capturing the NXT Women's Tag Team titles. She calls herself undeniable. Well, it's time to prove it. I have every bit of confidence that she will. Presenting Damage Control from San Jose, California, Bailey! The thing I love about Bailey is every word she speaks, every action she takes just says, I'm better than you. 
Well, she took the helm when she created damage control and now an all-out assault on the women's division and the WWE fans. I feel like Bailey has gone out of her way to show that she's on her own level now. All great leaders lead by example. Bailey's demonstrating, and the rest of the world should be taking notes. Well, if Bailey is such a great leader, tonight she's got a chance to actually back it up. Like her or not, you cannot deny her skill and contributions to this division. That's true, Corey, because I can't stand her. The powerhouse Zoe Stark looking for a pivotal win in this one. Well, Stark may not be the biggest dog in the fight, but she will absolutely make clear that she has the biggest fight of any dog in this division. Power and strength combined, Stark is not playing around. I'm sure the rest of the division doesn't appreciate being referred to as dogs, Byron, but otherwise you're absolutely right about Stark. But let's talk about Bailey. She's turned her back on the fans and started only looking out for herself and her own interests. She rejected them so completely that now it's become only booze whenever she enters an arena. And I think those booze only fuel Bailey's inner fire. She figured out that it's better to be successful than to be loved. The fans weren't getting her anywhere, so she moved on and became one of the most intimidating competitors in this entire win. Party's over. Good night. She faked her off. And she's not done yet. Just using the adrenaline to stay in the match. We're no closer to a winner just yet. Look at this. Boom. Nice. Lost body. Driven down face first. She's starting to look. Wow. Wiping that smoke look right off her face. She wants to take this one outside the ring, it seems. Made her pay for her mistake. Fireman's carry position across the shoulders. Rolling through. Snapmare. Oh, right to the spine. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Ow. Foot, meat, back. Bailey fending that off. Unbelievable athleticism. Agility like that is what can set you apart from the rest of the locker room. Thrown back in under the ropes. Excellent ring IQ to see the refs count return to the ring in time. Crossbody. Stark has become relentless. Bailey is getting the window shut at every opportunity. That extra rotation creates so much more force than a standard splash. Boom! Face first. Bailey looking a little worse for wear after taking that hit. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. Uh oh. She thinks she has it. Strong kick out there. Yeah, she probably knew that cover wouldn't do it. Oh, kick connects. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extends your elbow. Oh, stomping away. All the way up for a suplex. No, 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 no. Wiggles free. Into a chop block. What a cross body. Roundhouse kick. That was nasty. Look at the height. Front splash. Start showing just what it means to be a powerhouse. Impressive athleticism on display there. A long two and a half in the waning moments of this match. Zoe is revving this crowd up. Reversal. Can they go on the attack? 
Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Shot right to the back of the neck. Right to the back of the neck. And Bailey is being humbled here. It's so hard to predict what Stark's going to do next. Measured knee drop. And now Zoe is playing to the crowd. Using the ropes as a launching pad. Ah, oh, straight to the floor. I don't care how bold you are, missing on those kind of maneuvers will send you to a medical facility. A medical attention might be needed out. Putting a stop to all her showboating. Uh-oh, finds a counter from Stark. Look at this. Boom. Nice. Uh -huh. Bionic elbow driven down. Elbow drop. Look at this. Oh, from the rope. Headed to the top now. Almost lost their balance, but regained it. Elbow drop by Bailey. The execution of a role model and then some. Bailey. Oh, rose plant. Is it enough for Bailey? That's got to be it. Two count. Bailey scores the victory. Here is your winner. Bailey once again proving the doubters and haters like you, Michael Cole, wrong. Ah, this is gonna be fun, because here comes the ninja master, the master of martial arts. The following contest is a submission match. Making his way to the ring, representing the Alpha Academy. From Kobe, Japan, weighing in at 156 pounds, Akira Tozawa. I consider myself lucky to have a victory over Tozawa. He is one tough competitor. So if I beat you, does that make me better than Tozawa? A look of focus on Tozawa's face. Fearless and ready for whatever comes his way in this one. The timeline is about to be reset. The Harbinger of Doom, Karrion Cross, looking to leave his mark on WWE here tonight. He's not just looking to leave a mark, Cole. He's looking to leave a scar.
A cerebral competitor, Cross starts his attacks before the bell even rings. You know, the wheels of destiny have been in motion long before you're standing in the ring across from Karrion Cross. This highly anticipated confrontation is under submission match rules. No pinfalls. The only way to win is to tap out or pass out your opponent. I've got a feeling we're about to see these superstars bust out submissions that we haven't even seen from them before. No, oh, great display of strength with the suplex. Tossed into the corner. Oh, elbow caught him right on the bridge of the nose. Uh-oh, full mount, hammer fists, striking at will. The ref might want to stop this one. Striking at will. And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. Just look at Cross gain the momentum in this one. Carrying Cross making this fight scarier with every maneuver. Oh, stop right to the hand. No respect being shown whatsoever with those stomps. Multiple stops. He's going for it all. From the top. Diving elbow drop. Are you kidding me? Came down like a lead balloon. Trying to wrestle free their opponent's arm. Has the arm trapped. Delivering nasty stops. Tozawa getting worked on now. And you gotta wonder, what does this do to Tozawa's confidence? Oh, the knee takes a big hit. The stomp in every single part of his body. Each of those boots seem to get heavier with each blow. I believe his aggression, just oh, pure brutality. Come on, easy. There was no issue with that attack. Hey, sometimes desperate times call for desperate measures. Who are we to judge? A second gut wrench suplex. I do not see this match going on much longer with too many more moves like that from them. You have got to be an elite physical condition to pull off something like that. Tozawa wards that attack off. Finally, Tozawa's able to interrupt these attacks for a moment. Tozawa isn't allowing that burst. He just took on to end him. And Cross has earned the upper hand here. Now, when Cross is going like this, you know you're in immediate danger. Goodness gracious. And if the first stop doesn't send you the message, the follow-up ones definitely will. Coming. Cross held nothing back on that. Go. Darian Cross in the corner. Boom! There's the cross hammer. Tozawa looks out of it. of danger. Stop in the leg. Deconstructing the knee there. Uses an elbow to disrupt that attack. Boom. Head first. Oh, he creates some separation with power. Wait for it. Alabama slam. And we're cutting it kind of close, don't you think? You can say that again. Time to get the lead up. Big punch finds its mark. And 
it's over. All in a nice work. Here is your winner, Karrion Cross. And they were not able to beat the ref's count. This one ends in a count out. It's not the prettiest, most honorable, or even the most fun way to win, but hey, count outs happen. Josh Briggs walking down to the ring, and boy, does he cast a long shadow. The following contest is a last man standing match. Making his way to the ring from Bullhead City, Arizona. Weighing in at 268 pounds, Josh Briggs. I'll tell you, I've seen a couple folks tougher than Briggs, but I can't really remember when. Briggs made his name on the Indies, but here in the WWE, he's finally unlocked his full potential. Not to mention, he's already in the history books as one of the final holders of the NXT UK tag titles. The Irish Ace, ready for a fight. His opponent representing the Judgment Day from Bray, County Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 180 pounds, J.D. Madonna! Trained by Finn Balor, inherited that same killer instinct. And McDonough's absolutely not here to make friends. He's here just to fight and win. I don't think JD could make a friend even if he tried. Well, if JD's the Irish ace, I guess that makes you the Joker, Saxton. Or maybe that rules card that everyone just throws out. A last man standing match might just be the ultimate test of a superstar's endurance. Yeah, the longer this match goes on, the harder and harder it becomes to stay on your feet. It's going to take a real toughness and sheer force of will to find victory. Yeah. On a forearm. <laughs> Boom! He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. Grabbing a kendo stick, any connection with flesh will definitely leave a welt. He had it scouted. Into the corner now. Uh-oh. In position. Look out. Here it comes. Shotgun drop kick. snap of the kendo stick and jd's keeping the pressure on let's see what mcdonough can do with the opportunity bad predicament right here Ooh, that's how you dominate your opponent <laughs> i honestly can't believe we just saw a human being tossed like that just breaking down the opponent a well-timed dodge Ooh, that can knock you out. And a kick. He leaves the ring, and there's no countouts in this one. 
Apparently thinking a steel chair is what's needed right about now. He's getting a little batter now. Yeah, and it looked like JD is dead set on destruction with that move. Oh, what a strike to the back. Vicious right forearm. Great job anticipating Briggs. Standing Spanish fly, are you kidding me? Incredible. Fails to connect on the springboard. Oh, look at this. What a headbutt. Caught with that sharp elbow. That. Well, this isn't going to win the fall, but it's going to do a lot of... Whoa, this is surprising, Byron. Yeah, I'm not really sure why he would let him out right there. And he clearly knows that as long as he has the kendo stick, he has the power here. Three, four, five, six, seven, Referee's count has reached seven here. Getting dangerously close to the inevitable. That's it. Calling it by knockout. Here is your winner, J.D. McDonough! This has to be a tough loss for Josh Briggs. This is why they've called him the Irish ace. McDonough was tactical, he was precise, and now he's a winner.